Good morning, everyone. We are coming to you live from Houston, Texas. We've got Bull Shooter Regional Stop Texas of the, uh, what is this, 2021-2022, now that we're in the new year, uh, regional tour. My name is DJ Sayre. I'm joined by Gordon Dixon. And we'll Hello. Bring you the, uh, yeah, we'll bring you the commentary. Dad, how you feeling this morning? Dad, I'm I'm ready to go. Yeah. I am in I am in uh, uh, balmy 17 degree Ostrander, Ohio, and I I mean any better, and I'd be dangerous. I I think I got you beat. I think we're at like 16, but oh. um, but yeah, it's uh not so beautiful weather here in Ohio, where we are uh, remotely, but in Houston, I'm guessing it's probably pretty nice. As we see lots of folks in shorts, so we uh, we are bringing you the pro doubles bracket here um, this morning. We've got Team White Chocolate of Marcus Polk and Cole Butler taking on Team Jay and Josh of Jason. Is it Curry? I think it's Curry and Josh Horning. Yeah, always, uh, always a good event. Um, the uh, the pro doubles starting us off on uh, on Saturday. Everybody getting their feet underneath them after uh, perhaps a long evening in the uh, in the blind draw. Yeah, it's it's really one of those things because you gotta either you were up late last night playing in the draw, um, and you're probably a little uh, tired this morning, not as fresh as you'd like to be. Or you're coming into the weekend kind of cold uh, because you didn't play it all yesterday, and now you need to uh, to hit the ground running because there's uh, there's no easy matches in the pro events, or at least not typically. So uh, yeah, a little bit of a board malfunction there. I accidentally hit the the button to switch it around to the 13 inch board. They get it corrected, and Marcus will come to the board. Yeah, really, uh, um, you can tell these players just uh, trying to get their feet underneath them uh, here this morning. Yeah, Marcus and Cole had a uh, buy the first round for Jason and Josh. They did uh, win their first match, or at least uh, they show a win on the board. It may have been a forfeit. I don't know. We uh, we didn't get to see that. But, yeah, this uh, this is the first match of the second round. Um, so only a couple of buys, almost a full 32 team bracket, looks like, or excuse me, a full 16 team bracket. No, 32. But yeah, definitely, um, a little bit of a slow start for the players. It's also tough. Uh, um, obviously, working uh, working remote makes it uh, uh, makes it easy on us. How, however, it doesn't give us an opportunity to kind of see around the room as we see the the hat trick there from Marcus. Um, who all uh, who all we're going to uh, be seeing throughout the day? Um, obviously, especially in Texas, we've got some staples that uh, that we expect to see. Um, doing well in these uh, in these events. Double eighteen coming in, and there it is for the first leg. No messing around. Yeah, really, the only player that um, that had any kind of momentum going uh, in this match, and he closes out of one thirty six nicely. Oh, but I think the hat backwards indicates. That Popeye is getting serious. This is, yeah, this is, uh, this is going to turn. Is that the equivalent of him eating spinach? <laughs> uh, well, it is, I believe, one more bull than, uh, than previous, previously hit. So it's, uh, it's headed in the right direction. Saturday morning darts, not, uh, not nearly as tough as Sunday morning darts. But uh, but tough nonetheless. Yeah. 
Mark is going to get in straight away. And we're going to find one bull. Away second dart. So all these players not uh, not having any trouble getting in here. See if they can stay straight. The uh, format this morning is uh, that double in, double out with the freeze rule, which uh, undoubtedly will come into play um, at some point during the stream. See the continued shooting. <laughs> Mark is going to look to answer that. He's only going to find one bull. So if, uh, I, I believe this is Jason with the longer beard here. Um, and that's Josh. I, if I saw correctly, I thought I saw Horning on the uh, the gray shirt, gray and orange shirt in the background there. Um, so yeah, if uh, if he can stay in it here and he's not gonna find a ball, so the uh, freeze roll is in play here. For those who don't know, the freeze roll um, essentially you cannot finish the game if your partner scores more than your two opponents' cumulative total. So it, uh, while it does look like individual, everybody having their own score, it does make it a little bit of a team event in the sense that you need your partner not to, to fare too poorly, otherwise you won't be able to finish. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pull up Facebook because we got the best chat in the... Uh in the business here, always helping us out with uh, the names of these players, which we always greatly appreciate. There's a big hat trick from Marcus. Pulling back in it. Really applying some pressure here. Oh, in the chat, as you said, let me know that, uh, that that is Jason in the orange and uh, gray back there. So thank you for that, uh, Carlos. Cole only gonna find 67. So an opportunity now for Jason. Cannot finish a 167. Um, typically that is a double out uh, finish, but here you cannot finish on the bowl, being that it's a uh, full bowl, 50 point bowl for a single. So Jason just looks to set it up, brings it down to 64. But as you see, um, it's very likely that he will be froze the next time up, as he's technically already in that freeze range here, um, with Josh's 419 being more than the other two players' totals. So really need a big shot here from Josh. And that is not going to do it. So Jason will be frozen the next time. Gives Team White Chocolate some uh, some time to to uh, to get down there and and tie this series up. See if Jason is a uh, two or four guy. He's an eight guy. Honestly, probably irrelevant um, at this point. But yeah. Typically, the uh, the outs you see left are, are either two for a double one or four for a double two. Mark is going to bulk on the third. 
figure out what he wants to leave. Shoots a 17, leave 32. But he catches the double. So this leg all but over. Um, as Josh being way back at 384 um, is, is really crippling his team. So Cole and Marcus will have multiple attempts at the outs. Sixteen coming in. Uh, looks like it hit just on the outside there. Let's see, uh, Jason's just going to have him push off. See if Marcus can finish the fifteen. May see a three. May see a seven. I'm assuming the seven for uh, for double four into the big fat 19 so Josh with an opportunity to bring it down and we'll probably say this a couple of times but nine times out of ten when when this uh, when this scenario does happen um, even if the the freezing partner is able to uh, to get down they're usually the one that uh, that needs to save the day Um with with some type of a ton plus finish. We see again outside on the double four, so the leg continues. Marcus once again looking at fifteen. Seven for double four. And once again bust. And there we have first leg down, or I'm sorry, second leg down to tie it up to Team White Chocolate. So Court coming in here. And you feel like for, uh, for Jason, just given the way that Josh has struggled, that Court was very important. Um, to, to gain the advantage of going first. He's probably going to have to be in a sprint here to uh, to finish this in at most 12 darts going first. Well, there's a good start to that. And I tell you, what, for as much trouble as, uh, um, as Josh has had, the the in really hasn't been. Um, and there we see Cole with a uh, with a blank on the open, and that bodes well for Team uh, Jay and Josh here. Um, that's that's kind of the the ultimate equalizer in these double in double out events. Is you can be the better team, but if you can't get in, it uh it doesn't really matter much. But Josh unable to get in himself. Marcus going to match the in first dart and bolt, one bull turn. Both of the partners not getting in, though. Not, uh, not too much damage. Only a one bowl turn though. That uh, that hurts. Cole is away. Can Josh find something? 
here to uh, get on the board and and alleviate that uh, opportunity for a freeze. Josh gonna get in twice as he goes double sixteen, double seven. But in nonetheless. I think we're seeing that uh, that pressure kind of mount on Jason. He knows he needs to run down there and take this out. Yeah, honestly, his poorest leg so far. Um, but still, I mean, carrying the banner in the leg. If Josh can just put in a uh, a big shot here, it would take a lot of pressure off of Jason. Yeah, Josh is not able to find uh, the board at times. And I'm wondering if this is affecting uh, Marcus and Cole as they feel like they should be able to uh, to overcome this. And that's, um, that's making them press as well. Yeah, I, I think you're onto something there. There's, there's definitely a psychological uh, thing that happens when you see the other team struggling or a player on the other team struggling so bad that you almost lose your competitive edge of that, that killer instinct. Um, and you tend to kind of relax thinking that it's going to be smooth sailing. Um, but Cole there, big shot, putting in a hat trick. Yeah, Jason going to need at least six more darts. Josh finally finds a bull. Maybe enough to uh, at least put him in a position where he can, uh, he can score again and not freeze. But a big shot here from Marcus may, may hurt. Solid shot there from Jason. Yeah, 66 if he gets a chance. All comes up to these uh, these next nine darts. And whether or not he gets a whack at it. I would wager to say right now it's not looking good. As yeah. uh, Josh is going to need to outscore Marcus by... Uh, by about 70 some points that first start very wayward so yes a uh, fr freeze in play here Marcus just going to look to bring it down knowing that Jason cannot take out the 66 no matter what I'm going to just leave it at uh, 18. But again, no signs that, uh, that Josh is going to be able to run down here and, and be the hero. Both the 102 and 84 are in play. Cole, I think, looking for the 20 to leave 32. 
Sets it up on double nine. Finds the treble 20. 84 now for Marcus. Should be looking at a bull for double 17 or triple 20. So 64 now. Could still go bull. That's the uh, the simpler dart, but knows he has lots of time. May look to set up the, the better out as he does. Double eight now. Jason is going to like to throw another dart. We're at 14 to leave four. You can see kind of the, uh, the look of defeat on his face there, knowing that it's very unlikely that they'll be able to survive this match. This is a winner's bracket match in our pro doubles. As we see there, Cole Butler finishing it off. So your winners in this one, White Chocolate, move on to the third round of the winner's bracket. Unfortunately for uh, for Jason and his partner Josh, they will move into the loser side. So we should be getting um, another match straight away of the uh, pro doubles. Hopefully, now that we're getting into the the later rounds, we'll uh, we'll see the standard start to go up. But don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Matt, 501. Yeah, we were talking uh, at the beginning of the stream about the uh, the staples of the bull shooter, um, and specifically the bull shooter in Texas, and uh, this match is the epitome of both of those. Yeah, you got a couple of native Texans in uh, in Donnie and Alex teaming up with a couple of Midwesterners. So, um, yeah, you would have normally thought that the the Texans would be playing together and the Midwesterners would be traveling together, but not the case in this one. Although Alex, I believe, relocated. Uh, I think he's in Vegas still. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought I thought he was uh, um, he was in Vegas, but uh, I. To be honest, I haven't talked to Alex in a in, in quite a while. Just uh, glad to see him out playing because I know the uh, the opportunities to play here over the last 20, 24 months have been uh, few and far between. Yeah, I think everyone um, kind of as a collective ready to get back into the normal swing of things uh, when it comes to dart tournaments. I know we had the, uh, the local still tip event last month that um, – Kind of got to stretch the legs and play a little bit. It was nice and refreshing. Yes, and the turnout uh, certainly certainly showed that over 170 in the uh, in the singles, up from an average of what 135 ish. Okay, so yeah, I mean, definitely an uptick. Donnie staying straight. Yeah, that double in, double out uh, impact in most of these uh, these averages at the uh, the start of the leg here. Alex is gonna set it right, finding the uh, the hat trick. Oh, the uh, the chat telling us that uh that I made a couple of errors, not just one. One, Alex is uh. Is back in San Antonio, and Donnie is in Oklahoma. So, all right, corrections made. <laughs> hey, I don't know where and, these uh, people live. Yeah, right. I can't keep track of all of them. Yeah, you know I mean, card players are. I, I mostly want to know what's on Alex's shirt. Like, if the chat could help me out with that, that'd be great. Is that a map of something? I think that looks like a person throwing a dart. On Alex's shirt? Yep. I don't know. I think the I orange. Can, I, I, th I think I see what you're saying. Is it Scott Kirchner? Is it an outline of Scott Kirchner? I have no idea. But what's the outline? That's the question. Like, is that like the shape of the county of San Antonio? <laughs> it's it's as good a guess as I have right now. <laughs> so please, chat, help us out. Let us know. Nice hat trick there from Porky. Trying to get back into the leg and not freeze his partner. Is uh, Donnie and Alex going to do some math here? Figure out what they need to get to in order to uh, freeze. Honestly, a couple of bulls will do it. That's all Dustin should be thinking here. Really just one bull and a couple of decent numbers. So again, the freeze roll, you cannot finish the game if your partner's score is more than your two opponents combined. So Dustin plays a little risky there, but does get the job done. So... As you see, 169 and 34 is 203, which is less than the 244, so Donnie is froze. He's just going to set up six. No, two. Interesting. He knew exactly where he was going there. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what the second dart was at, but it works nonetheless. So Alex going to bring it down, make sure that Dustin gets a look at 34. They're going to do math, but it's not needed. I think a 150 is the right shot. It's most likely the only way 
Donnie's getting a shot as it's dust and bust. Gets credit for it. So Dustin Holt uh, taking out this first leg. No harm, no foul though for uh, for Donnie and Porky as they will get to uh, to start this second leg. I think the chat's playing jokes on us now because they just said Dustin's in Oklahoma as well. That one would be a surprise to me, but maybe. Where was he at before? Um, he was up around the like Illinois, like Northern Illinois area, right? Chicago, like not Chicago, but like close to where Bullshooters located or Rackman's located. Well, I don't know. I think I think Oklahoma might be right. Oh, I mean, okay. Good start from him. 132 in. Really punishing the uh, the blank from Porky and putting pressure on Donnie. Yeah, you can tell uh, Donnie des definitely pressing a little bit there. <clears throat> surprised, to, surprised to see uh, Porky back uh, to start um, just in general. After having a little bit of trouble in that uh, in that last leg, gonna need to kick off strong here. Otherwise, we may see a uh, we see some frustration. Yeah, and over again, six, getting in. So a uh, big worry now for uh, for Donnie and Steve. Donnie gonna stay strong though. <laughs> so kind of all or nothing here. Yeah, I would say anything less than a ton plus. Um, I mean, it's almost certainly over. And this is a <laughs> this is a uh, must win leg here for for Porky and Donnie. Oh, and honestly, that last start still still stings. Yeah, because a couple of good shots here from from Alex and Dustin, and they've already got uh, Donnie froze. Ooh, but, and only a one bowl turn. Yeah, that's a, that's an opening. However, you think Donnie has to finish in six. I think uh, he can't go for the 150 here. He needs to look for at least a 170. He's not going to do that. No. Yeah, I don't think he's even playing percentages at, at that point. Because I think the chances of him not uh, not getting a shot at it out in the next six starts is uh, extremely high. Especially now. As you see, the math already adds to uh, to him being frozen. Mm. And not even best case scenario there from Porky, so... Going to continue to uh, to need some help. Basically, out of 
out of Don, Donnie and uh, Steve's hands at this point. Alex looking at 145 for the match. Sets it up on a double 15. A look off there from from Porky frustrated. Finally able to find that uh, hat trick and double top to take this two nil. And there it is, Dustin Holt and Alex Reyes, your winners. However, this is double elimination, so we will see uh, or have the potential to see uh, Steve Hilger and Donnie Ram again. If you're just joining us, we are bringing you the Bull Shooter Regional live from Texas, USA. Stick around. We will be right back with another match as soon as possible.
16 for a uh, max start, at least for the chosen uh, starting double. Brandon trying to follow him on the 16, but unable to come away with a double. So once again, Alex and Dustin being given a little bit of a gift here um, as their opponent not able to get in. Alex, though, going to return the favor. Happy accident there. Unhappy accident on the second dart. Off and running with a 53. So. Early doors. Looking to go with throw. Even though uh, Brandon and Alex have had trouble getting in here. Yeah, only Dustin really at the races so far. Alex going to set things right. Whipping in that one, three, two. Staying perfect, putting in a high ton to leave 62 after nine. Yeah, Dustin running down here so quickly, even with the uh, the blank start there from Alex. Not really in any danger whatsoever of being uh, frozen here. So 62, may look at the bull for double six or triple ten. The bull for double six, double three now. There it is, so leg number one, the Dustin and Alex. So Brandon going to want to get away here straight away. Otherwise, uh, this could be over in double quick time. Good start after the initial miss. Same thing here for Daniel. Really wanted to take advantage of this uh, of this start. Alex gonna follow with a one thirty two. All four players getting in on their first attempt at the board. Uh, roll the eyes there from Brandon. Not able to find the, the hat trick, but two bulls in first position. Does uh, 
does hold them in good stead. Can Hawk keep it going? Of course he can. Nice hat trick follow there. Brandon needing to stay perfect in order to um, leave a finish. Unable to, only putting in a low ton. Alex and Dustin going to talk it over. A 150 doesn't leave a finish is uh, is why they're thinking about this. I uh, I would agree with uh, going bull bull and then making the switch for a triple 20 to try leaving out. But just like that, it's all over. Yeah, it's good to have the conversation, but uh, yeah, kind of derailed right after, right out of the, the start there. Well, and it's one of those things. I don't know if Dustin knew the shot and just wanted to confirm with uh, with Alex if it was worth the risk or if he was trying to get confirmation. But if you know that going into it and don't need to have the conversation, I feel like you're a lot more likely to hit it. Hawks putting in another hat trick. Bringing it all the way down to 97. So Alex really needs to put in something here. Try to apply some pressure to Brandon. <laughs> may pressure. have rescued. Yeah, may have rescued the shot there with the last dark hole. Yeah, he, he guaranteed that Hawk wouldn't be froze. Because um, the best Dustin could do is a 180 to leave 17, which wouldn't be enough. But had he had a better shot, he could have really took some pressure off of Hawk in the sense that Hawk may not have needed to take it out, but could just get it low enough to guarantee that Brandon would get a shot. Instead, now Hawk needing to take this out. Bull for double 14 should be the shot. Double 14 coming in. Ooh. Just barely missing inside. So 102 now for Alex. See how Alex wants to shoot at this. Imagine he'll start with a bull. No, let's go with the 21st. Ooh, and inside on the 16. I mean, is the thought on either side of the 20, you still get a shot? Well, Whereas... you don't. Because a one, you can't finish on the ball. You're right. So I... Yeah, there's no... Doesn't seem to be any... Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe just the, the thrill of getting as low as possible. And they're branded, messing it up. And he cannot freeze. The best he can do is leave two, which would actually tie the 16. Does manage to find two bulls to ensure that Hawk isn't froze if Dustin's unable to take this out. So 82, this is an easy one. Bull double 16. His in double. And his out double. So there it is. Your winner's in this one. Two straight. Dustin Holt and Alex Reyes. They will move on and play for the king seat. For Hawk and Brandon, they'll be playing in our fifth, sixth match on the loser's side in their next one. We uh, we should have the other semifinal. I know one match was uh, still going on, but I see some players uh, already starting to make their way here. So it should not be a long pause. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back for some more darting action.
is uh, the semifinal of the uh, winner's bracket. So the winners will take on Dustin Holt and Alex Reyes, who we just saw get through to that king seat match moments ago. Unfamiliar with uh, with Team Eric and Joe. Eric getting in with a second dart, but unable to find a bull. Dan, another one making the trip all the way down to Texas. Um, I, I'm hesitant to say where anyone lives anymore because I've been wrong so much. But the last I knew, Dan was living in Michigan. I was going to say, you, are we really going to do this uh, where they yeah. live thing again? I mean, why not? <laughs> What's going to happen? I'm wrong. <laughs> you have proven time and time again you are not afraid of that, Ted. Hey, I fail every day. <laughs> Learn more from your failures, bud. Oh, Johnny. Only going to hit one bull here. So an opening now for Eric, who didn't have the strongest of starts. Yeah, a chance to, to run down here and pressure the shot, but he's only going to follow with one bullseye. So parity remains. Dan staying straight, though, carrying the, uh, the torch for the team. Joseph with his left eye dominance putting in a hat trick. Is that Joseph or is that Eric? That is Joseph Perez. We got Joseph Perez and Eric Holmes. Got it. <laughs> oh, the, the chat's got jokes. Oh, yeah? Everybody bummed out that, uh, that Dan still lives in Michigan. I'm bummed that anyone lives in Michigan. Yeah, I, I think he chose to live there. That's the weird part. Like, he wasn't born there. I don't think. I know at one point he was living in Wisconsin. So he got out. I don't know why he came back. If he was originally born there. But I digress. Joseph's staying hot. Back to back hat tricks. Johnny able to find two after a slack first. And Eric only going to find 25, so. Putting the team in danger here. However, only going second in this. So if it ho does hold throw, real uh, real harm done. Dan electing to stay on the bull, even though it wouldn't have left a one dart finish. Just trying to bring it down. Did already have the freeze in play, so Joseph cannot finish this one on one. So he's going to decide what to do.
We'll find out if Joseph is a uh, two or four man. Joseph playing extremely well throughout this leg. Joseph is a three guy. A three guy. I mean, it it's not wrong. Like, you got to bring it down as much as possible, but you typically want to leave a finish. Completely irrelevant, though, is Johnny Lackey takes out the first leg. I mean, I think most people would have, uh, on Joseph's shot, shot it a little different to to try to leave a finish. But I get it. So good open there from uh, from Eric. Job done for uh, Johnny Lacking. We'll see just how hot Joseph can stand, can stay in this uh, in this must win leg now. Yeah, if the double goes in, you gotta imagine he's gonna hit a lot of bullseyes. But he's unable to get in. Unlucky there for for Joseph. Dan gonna look to punish. Yeah, didn't think they were going to get away with uh, Dan not getting in, but it was kind of best case scenario in on the second dart and uh, doesn't find a bullseye. So, yeah, I mean, anytime a player of Dan's caliber only comes in with thirty six, I uh, I would count my lucky stars. But they got to take advantage, and Eric. Was not able to do that. So Joe's going to need a big shot here. Ooh, and does miss the bullseye, so... Joseph not performing the way we uh, we saw him in the first leg. Dan just going to look to increase the gap between he and Joseph. Shot there, putting in three bulls. <laughs> Little flabbergasted by that shot selection. I think it was a little early in the leg to uh, to do that. Yeah, a bit of a hail mary, really. Um, probably worried about getting froze, but honestly, given the way that Joseph hit bullseyes in the last leg, I don't know that there was really a whole lot of need for it. And yeah, that was kind of my uh, thinking. If if this wasn't a case where where we saw Josh earlier uh, struggle to uh, to put anything together, Joseph, for all intents and purposes, is probably the, the form player in the last leg. Does look down at the triple nineteen to try to leave a finish, but comes away with one twenty one. So looking like one way traffic here. Oh, 
Yeah, and our very first match went three with uh, the team that won the first leg uh, losing the next two. And after that, it has been two zeros all the way down, which is very, uh, very unlike this uh, this format with uh, loser starting. See Joseph there press and chuck one down at the the nineteens. A little bit of a look of defeat there from from Joseph. I think he knows the writing's on the wall as well. Dan coming to the board looking at one ninety four. Fifty four to week forty. Great job. Nice little high ton there. With both uh, Johnny and Dan. Have a high ton in this leg. Granted, Johnny didn't do much with his. He left 156 and then was only able to score 30 from there. Can he take out 126? Couple of bulls? No. Yeah, oddly for this format, chooses to leave the 50. I think he just anticipates his partner taking it out. So Dan Burke now, double top for a 2-0 lead here in the semifinals. This will propel them to the king seat match where they will face off against Dustin Holt and Alex Reyes. There you see it. Got it down to the double 10. Johnny and Dan moving into that king seat match. Eric and Josh not out of it. Moving over to our loser's bracket. And we will be back with a loser side match here very shortly as we uh, continue to move this bracket along at the Bullshooter Regional in Texas, USA. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. More darts headed your way.
Sound check. Check, check. Can you hear us? Do we sound like we're talking through tinfoil? Sound check. One, two, one, two. Checking our mics. Make sure they don't sound like aluminum foil. Check, check. Alrighty, we are back once again, coming to you with a losers bracket match. We got one team we've seen already on the stream: Cole Butler and Marcus Polk, taking on Curtis Newcomer and Andrew Robles. Bounces one off the board. Counts for 32. Looking at the bracket here. Looks like this is a 7th, 8th match. Winner of this will take on He Had Hair, which was Hawk and Brandon. Andrew coming in hot, putting in a 140. Big shot to punish the no open from Marcus. Cole yeah, good to right see. Here. Good to see Cole and uh, Marcus uh, again after we saw them uh, early in the day. See what they've uh, kind of started throwing. Curtis going to look to reset. Mark is finally in. Doesn't find a bullseye, so... from the two hole pressure now for this opening leg pressure squarely on Cole to run down here and uh, take it out
good shot there from Marcus. Trying to make up for the slow start. Putting in a hat trick. Oh, unlucky there from Andrew. Lights out. So no finish for him after a real strong start. Cole not going to leave it out. Curtis only going to find one bull. So a little chippy here at the end of this uh, this first leg. So he's on the loser side. So they are. now from 188 gonna look to fill up the bull who lights out with the third was looking to leave double 19 170 not a finish as the game has to be finished by an outer ring double but setting up 20 will do just as well for Cole Curtis, I think, knew he needed to put in a big shot here to make sure that Andrew gets a look at the 86. Marcus has a decision to make here. He uh, he could elect to play this safe, stay on the ball, or go for the finish. Oh, and he's going to get a look at it. Double 18 now. Great shot there from Marcus, though. Just barely missing that out. So the freeze is in play. Andrew not able to finish the game. Yeah, and whether by design or not, hits inside on that 18. Maybe 32 to leave four, 34 to leave two. That's what he'll do. So good shot there from Andrew. Shows you that he would have finished the game had he had the opportunity. And Cole looking at double 10. First starts it. to so leg number one to Team White Chocolate. Curtis will lead us out in leg number two. Double 19 really doing uh, wonders for Cole. In straight away in both legs. Andrew coming in with a 140 once again. We saw him do this last leg and then kind of fall off on the bull. We'll see if he uh, has a little better accuracy here in leg number two. Marcus getting in a lot quicker this time. Was unable to get in on his first shot in leg number one. Yeah, Marcus, even though not getting in on the first shot on that first leg, the first one to, uh, to get a whack at the double. See 
if Andrew can follow that 140 start. And as you mentioned, just not able to uh, to follow it after the big open. Recovering after missing the first start. See if uh, Andrew here wants to take a stab at the 180 or 171 to leave a finish. No, he's just going to play the long game, go for the bull. Probably the more sensible play. Really important shot here for Curtis. He needs to find at least two bulls in order to get down there, get a chance to win this second leg. This next turn, he's gonna find all three. <clears throat> when it goes well, guys that spin their darters that spin the dart like that just look so smooth. <laughs> I think it's hard to replicate time in and time out, but it does look good when you do it right. But Andrew now, he's going to find another bull. Does just that. But not out of the woods. A hat trick from Marcus will freeze. Does it big shot there from Marcus? <laughs> so once again, even after a big open from Andrew, not able to find the bulls with any regularity. Curtis just gonna set it up. Look for the 17 to leave two. Hits the two to leave 17. And Cole comes up looking at 87. Busts. And that could come into play now. With Andrew, even if he doesn't take this out, has the opportunity to freeze. I wonder if that's what he and Curtis are talking about now. A low ton would be enough to freeze. Yeah, I think this is the smart play. Trust in your partner to take out the 17. You don't need to take out the 158 to win this leg. So Marcus now froze. That bus by Cole, very costly. Double eight now for Curtis. And there it is. So we're all knotted up at one leg of the piece. Our first third game. And ironically, the only team to go three legs on our stream today is uh, Cole and Marcus. Yeah, with Team White Chocolate there for the second yeah. time. Yeah, both of the matches they've featured on our stream have went all three legs. All of the others, two straight. Yeah, all important cork there.
Cole doing a good job of using it. Gets in straight away. Kurt is hot on his heels. Slack Marcus. starts here for Marcus, but he does manage to get in. Here we go again with Andrew. 140 in in all three legs. It's pretty handy. And what a time. He hasn't been able to follow it all match. What a time to, to do it if he can uh, put together a great leg here. Cole holding it together for Team White Chocolate. Big hat trick there from Curtis to regain the advantage. Best follow so far after the ton forty start. Yeah, and Andrew and Curtis going second in this leg. Both the uh, two best scores on the board going into this round. <laughs> Cole showing why he's going first. Marcus gonna need a Herculean type effort here from this point in order to get back into this leg. Good hat trick. <laughs> you called it, Andrew. Having his best leg on the bullseye so far. Hitting eight out of nine perfect darts in this leg to leave 97 after nine. But Cole does get a look at this 243. Or no, he doesn't. Sorry. He, uh, yeah, he does. He, uh, he just misses the triple. My apologies. <clears throat> yeah, Cole's yeah, Cole. super... Uh... Geeked up about that shot. Looked uh, looked rushed the entire time. Double 15 coming in. Talk about rushed. I think Curtis let that one go just a little bit too fast. That miss will most likely be very costly. We're just going to talk it over with Andrew. Needs to make sure he stays below 89. So, at all costs, do not bust. Great first dart. And second dart. Two darts to 97 for an 11 dart leg. Great shot there from Andrew. So your winners in this one, Curtis and Andrew. Unfortunately for Team White Chocolate, they are eliminated. We should be getting another loser side match. So more darting action. Don't go away.
Yeah, Porky and Donnie Ram falling earlier to uh, Dustin Holt and Alex Reyes. So clearly finding some success on the uh, loser side of the bracket, trying to get back to uh, avenge that loss. And in that match, we saw uh, Porky seem to be struggling, um, freezing Donnie a couple of times. Uh, and he was going first there, still going first now. So clearly, uh, stay in the course. I can only assume that Porky's picked it up quite a bit from where he was then. Big 132 in there for Joseph. I think last time uh, Porky even had some, some trouble starting. So thus far, no issues and uh, scoring. Got his scoring boots on with a nice 150 there. Caleb only able to find one. So early doors, advantage to the Looney Tunes. Both players with their scoring boots on back to back. 150s, and there's another. Yeah, only Caleb missed the uh, bullseye to this point. Quickly hops on the bandwagon as well. Great standard here in this match. When Donnie, a slack turn there. Only finding one bull. And Joseph now in with a shout. If he can bring her down, he may get a look at this. Oh, but not the best of turns. So 119 now for Porky. Yeah, left himself a lot to do there with that 155 if he does get a go. Porky, great out. Plays the percentages going for the 19 first because the single still loves the finish. So leg number one to Porky and Donnie. And Caleb will have a start in leg number two. So great opening leg there in that match. 12 dart, very clean. And there's a big open for Caleb. This is a 7th, 8th place match, but got to feel, based on the way the players are playing, I'm a little surprised um, that we're seeing this level of play already, because all four players seem to be uh, playing pretty well. Yeah, as we see Joseph straight into that double. Not finding the final bull, but <clears throat> with the start. Early signs of uh, going with throw. So 
Porky after the uh, one three two start. Gonna continue to pressure. Trying to win this two straight. And there we see a shake of the head from Joseph. Just trying to keep it together, but honestly, uh, him and Donnie are not going to be the, uh, the deciders of this leg, I have a feeling. If they are, it's probably going to be in a negative way of freezing their partner. It's a big shot now from Caleb. Needs to bring this down. Should stay on the ball. Ensure yourself an out. Great shot there from Caleb. I think he was considering going into triple 18 to leave a 140. I think the most important there was making sure that he left a finish. Apply that pressure to Porky. Joseph just not up to the standard that he was showing in the first leg. Doesn't find a bullseye there in that turn. But Donnie now with an opportunity to put some distance between him and Joseph, and he does. Still an out for, for Caleb here on this 144. Now the triple 18 for double 20. Kind of feel like that was a do or die moment. Yeah. And I don't think a very good shot selection there with the, the third dart. Probably should have just went to the bowl. Ooh, Porky not going to get a shot. Though. Surprising after he shot uh, how he shot thus far in this uh, in this match. Caleb, no look here. Well, looks like he's going to gamble on this for some reason. Just to leave the two. So double 14 now for Porky. Seven. There it is. Your winners in this one. The Looney Tunes of Porky and Donnie. They will move on to take place in a fifth, sixth place match. We should have the King Seat match coming up next. So don't go anywhere. We will be right back.
Bull. And Dustin coming in strong with a 132 straight away. Johnny going to look to answer. Only able to find one bull. But does get in right away with a 96. Solid open. Dan Burke to open up his campaign here. In straight away. Ooh, but does miss the third bull. Definitely can be costly in, in these kind of matches. Yeah, this is one that's very close uh, to call. Would not be surprised to see the one whole player win every leg here. So here, Dustin, especially with the advantage, opening with six perfect darts. Yeah, definitely one of those that you expect to come down to the to the cork in the third leg. Players gonna exchange hat tricks now. Three players getting in on the first round and then opening with a hat trick on their first scoring opportunity. But Dustin still with the advantage. Going first. Just wayward on the third. We'll see what uh, what that 111 means. He comes back. You see Dr. Handsome smooth stroke that buck fifty. Oh, and Alex with a slack turn. If he wanted to play this a little risky, and Dan's going to think about it. So 180 would put him on 74, which would bring his their, their team score down to 179 and actually freeze Dustin. I think he has to take the shot here. Even if you miss the first dart, you can still go back at the bull, make sure you don't freeze your partner. But you got to find a bull. Okay, so nothing hurt there. I think it was worth the uh, the gamble. But Dustin does get a look at a 111. Yeah, and from the body language, that's the that's the discussion that uh, the Dan and Johnny are having. Yeah, you're. I mean, honestly, you never want to give Dustin a look at a 111. This is very likely to go away. I know the 180 is a uh, small percentage shot, but you got to take the chance. So double top now for Dustin. Oh, and he does miss it. It's all 105. Look for Johnny. Yeah, this is important to put pressure on Alex and Dustin to have to win this next leg. But Johnny falls low on the double top as well. Alex going to wonder if he should switch off the bull. If he puts in a hat trick, he gets down to 35. It means that Dan cannot throw a hat trick and freeze. I think you have to put in the hat trick. Force Dan to have to hit the triples. No. 
Now Dan's going to be able to hit bulls and freeze. Dan's not even going to have to hit that much. No. You just bring it down. One bull will do it. Yeah, I, I don't I don't necessarily agree with that uh that risk. I mean it's the first leg. You certainly have one to give. I think I would have uh put in the hat trick and gave myself a chance at the uh the double ten if Dan didn't hit a big shot in needing a triple to go along with a couple of bulls. So Johnny now just needs double ten. Double five. Oh, and that's a mistake. I would push off. Hit the button. Well, he didn't bust, but in that situation, he was at five. Alex sitting at 153. He's going to go for the out. Oh. <laughs> Alex almost makes him pay for it. So double eight now for Dan to steal it. The unlikeliest of outcomes. The four hole win in the leg. And there it is. So Dustin and Alex will have the start in leg number two. Down one leg to none. I think all players feeling a little bit of nerves here in our king seat match. For another strong start there from Dustin. We'll see if the standard coming down the board is uh, is what we saw in that uh, in that first leg. Now that there's a little bit more on this, well, the nerves tend to show themselves towards the end of the leg. So I think uh, I think that first leg was was pretty showing for uh, for what the players are feeling. Dan looks like we got away with one there on that first. <laughs> first but yeah, I don't think, a double. I don't think he had too much confidence in that counting when he let it go, but he does get the double sixteen, so one thirty-two open. Staying straight on that bullseye. Now Alex looking to pick it up after the slow start getting in, but only able to hit a 101. So still trailing. He will be the high man after this round. Staying perfect through six. Yeah, if nothing else, Dan and Johnny keeping the pressure on here in this must win leg for Dustin and Alex. 100%. You're seeing it. I mean, those, those darts go in more often than not. I think this match is just a little tense here for Dustin and Alex. It may still be weighing on them that they lost the first game. Both had uh, shots to finish. The best Alex can do is pull down to Dan's score before Dan throws. Very likely that even if 
Dustin gets a shot. Well, Dustin will get a shot, but he's not going to be able to take it out. More than likely going to be froze. Dan just needing two bullseyes. See Dustin nodding there in the background. I think he knows what's impending. Oh. But. <laughs> Light out for Dan. Means that Dustin does get a look at a 139. Oh, and he misses the first dart. It's a big miss there. I think he favored that shot. No, I think if you'd asked him before, he would uh, have said that would go away. He stepped up. Uh, he stepped up with a lot of confidence there. Yeah, I think that's why he was so surprised the first start didn't go in. So Johnny doesn't necessarily need to take this out, but he's going to get a look at double eighteen. Great shot. So your king seat winners, Doctor Handsome and Dan Burke. For uh, for Alex and Dustin, they will have to compete in our third place match next. Got a yeah. got a little whiff of uh, darting uh, um, darting etiquette. Um, <laughs> not not wanting to address his partner until he pulled his darts from the uh, from the board there for uh, for Johnny Lackey. No, good I think w. he wanted a hug. Like. He he wanted to go pull his darts so that they could hug. <laughs> no, great uh, great match. You saw the uh, the pressure there um, that uh, that Alex and Dustin were under after losing that first leg, um, going first. Um, wouldn't be surprised if we saw that for another uh, um, another rematch in the uh, in the finals. But uh, stick around, wait and see. We'll see who comes back to face our king seat holders. Dan Burke and Johnny Lackey.
Okay, we're just getting started with our fourth place match here in the Pro Doubles. We've got Brandon and Hawk taking on Porky and Donnie. Porky coming in strong for the 132 open. The winner of this will have the right to take on Dustin and Alex for a chance to move into the final. Slack open there for Donnie. Brandon going to look to put in a 150. That's exactly what he does. Talked about it earlier. Porky, kind of a slow starter on the day. But since then, every time we've seen him playing very well, definitely found his groove. Oh, a bit unlucky there with the third, flighting into the 13. Big hat trick there from Donnie. Still anyone's game. Orky gonna look to punish the miss from Brandon. Sitting at two fifty six. Look to put in another hat trick. That's what he does. Leaves 106 after 9. Hawk really needing to get going here. So far, the weak leak on the board does recover with two bulls. Donnie sitting at 306. Should be eyeing up the bullseye. At this point, Donnie's just looking to not freeze. Let Porky take it out. That seems to be the role of the player going second on a team. More often than not. Brandon with a nice 150. But all comes down to this, Porky with the 106. Needs the treble 18. Back to the bowl to leave 26. So on that shot, you feel like Hawk needed one more bull than whatever Donnie's going to follow with. So really needed three there. So two bulls here from Donnie, and he will freeze Brandon, ensuring that Porky gets a look at the double 13.
Brandon opening to just bring it down to five. Probably a moot point. This Porky just needs double 13. There it is, first dart. Take us into a second leg here. Brandon and Hawk will have an opportunity to start again. Yeah, Porky really finding his stroke. He's been the, uh, since that first match, he's been the form player in every match we've seen him in. And I put the commentator's curse on him. I don't know if anyone else has also noticed he carries four darts with him. And they're far darts, by the way. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Porky has to be the best player on the planet using house darts. Or I should say that uses house darts. <laughs> no one else actually tries. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, don't don't be daring Peter Wright. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He'll mess around and win the match play with him or something. Steady low ton there from Brandon. So let's see if uh, Porky can overcome anything DJ's about to say. I'm not going to say anything. And Looney Tunes greatly appreciates that. I, I think what we've proven is that it's best for everyone if I just sign off. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. No, I like it. And Hawk with the low ton. Really not taking full advantage of this uh the start of throw. Brandon needs three bulls here to really reestablish that benefit. And it's not going to find it. So it will not be in and out. I feel like he knew the uh, the need of that third bull. Someone pointed out that Hawk also carries four darts with the board. Terrible shot there from Donnie. Means that Brandon and Hawk are now way the favorites here to tie us up. Not gonna roll over in this leg. 
Puts in a hat trick to leave 69. A little bit of pressure here on Hawk. Oh, but he's going to respond nicely. Great shot there, putting in a hat trick. Making for sure that his partner gets a look at 83. Donnie. Dumbfounded as to what to do. That was not it. Yeah, of all the options, that was uh, that was not the direction that he wanted to go on that. So bull now for sixteen. Yeah, I, mean, I, th I think the key there for for Donnie was to make sure that he left himself an out because while. You know that Porky's not going to get a look. You may get another look. So a uh, uh, real slack turn there from Donnie. Porky's just going to look to bring it down. Maybe 48 to leave two. Now Hawk with no pressure on this 21. Late now. Again. Unable to find it. And as I said, Donnie coming back to the board and doesn't have a finish. Yeah, taking just a little bit of care on that uh, on that last turn would have uh, would have at least given him an outside opportunity here. Yeah, he was at what, like two twenty six, something like that. I mean, even a low ton there puts it very much in Donnie's range of taking it out. But instead, now forces himself to have to hit a huge shot. Um. He gives it super large, uh, but doesn't freeze Brandon at all. But apparently, the uh, the gamesmanship worked as it throws Brandon off. So, Forky now looking at double nine for the match. Yeah, I believe over in, over in England they call that the full can of beans. <laughs> he definitely gave it large. Some work to do. Double here. three. Well, that's not a bad miss. If uh, if he wouldn't have hit the single three. Hawk would have been able to take this out, but instead he's frozen. <clears throat> we'll leave two, and Donnie will come back to the board. Double four needed. He busts. What a turn of events. Brandon going to use all three, but does get there. So we are knotted up at one leg apiece. And we're going to have a critical cork to decide who goes first in the
Nice if he's out of the way. And Brandon comes to the board. In straight away. And into that bullseye. Great, great shot. A much smoother rhythm than we've seen Brandon taking on those double sevens. Yeah, there was tell that was a much more relaxed shot. There, there was some belief in those darts. Speaking of double seven, Porky gonna fall out of the double sixteen into one to get his campaign underway. Also going to come in with a double and two bulls. It's all now down to Donnie. Don't want to be the odd man out. But he's in straight away. Falls with one bull. But the, uh, the loosest of turns between the four players. Brandon staying perfect. Really keeping that pedal to the metal. Yeah, not giving an inch here in this third leg. Just going to look to stay straight on those bulls. When your partner going first starts so strong, you know that your job doesn't become taking it out, but rather to stay close. That way you don't get froze. Donnie finds two bulls after a wayward first. Can Brandon get this down to a manageable finish? Job done. Putting in two bulls and an 18. Again, this is our fourth place match. The rubber leg tied up at one leg apiece. Corky doing the right thing here. Reassessing. 168 not a finish, so he's going to need to switch off of the bullseye with his third dart. Looking up for 60. Oh, but he falls small. Hawk going a little wayward here. Yeah, the wrong time for a shot like that. May be able to get away with it if uh, Brandon's able to take out the 101. But certainly had an opportunity there to kind of put this leg away. Instead, Donnie now leaves a finish. So good bit of pressure now on Brandon to make sure that he finishes this. 11 for tops. Oh, and he just lands low. So now we have uh, a bit of math here. If Corky's able to put in a 150, all Donnie's going to have to do is match whatever Hawk throws. able to do it. So Hawk. Interestingly enough, if he goes bull bull, in order to freeze, he needs a triple. Ooh, 
so it's getting interesting. <laughs> <clears throat> 150 to do. We got a roar on the 180 that didn't necessarily have an impact on the outcome of the game. I can't imagine what we'll get if this 150 goes away. Needs to take it out or leave 11 or less. Yeah, I'm not sure what the math is here. I, th I think you have to go for it. I mean, because to leave 11 or less is just as difficult of a shot. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe, the, maybe shooting the buck 40... Because it's, I mean, it's, but if that first triple goes in, don't you favor a bull in a double 20 as well? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Brandon. Wow. Finally. Finding it with the third. You see the smile on his face. Stealing it with the third dart. So, Brandon and Hawk moving on. For Donnie and Porky, they will finish in fourth place. And we will have the third.
a great match between Brandon and Hawk, uh, defeating Donnie Ram and um, Steve Hilger Porky in our fourth place match. And Alex is going to take the reins now, going first for Team Dustin and Alex. So I wonder if uh, if the those guys had a little bit of a discussion and decided that Alex might be the uh, the hot hand, or or what's going on here. Typically, we don't see players change the uh, the shooting order, especially this deep into an event. These guys did just lose the king seat match a little bit ago in their last match, but still a little surprising to uh, to see the change. Hawk with another nice 140. And only 68 from uh, from Alex. I thought Alex, the last time we saw them, um, was maybe the one uh, struggling a little bit. In that yeah, I mean, I, I, I felt like Dustin has been pretty in form all day. Um, yeah, a little surprised to see the switch. Anytime you have two A players, though, I mean, I, I have seen it where one's not used to playing that uh that second fiddle um yes. position and may may just be uh something that alex is a little bit more comfortable with but honestly with some of the partners that that alex has played with over the years i can't imagine that uh that that's anything that's that's bothered him no and i i think alex is and dustin both are good enough players to know the situation and be able to play well out of whatever hole they're playing in. It is a little bit of a different mentality going first versus third, but I, um, I mean, the, the objective is still the same. Don't miss, right? Nice setup shot there from Dustin. Just needs to find another bull. I believe a finish. But a slack turn there from Hawk. Opens the door for Alex. He's only going to put in 69. It's enough to guarantee that Dustin gets a look at 156. But not a high probability shot. Brandon. Mucking around here. Going to need to find a bull or a big triple. Somehow squeezes that last one in there. Lucky it didn't uh, bounce out. Dustin not going to finish the 156 here. And not going to leave 36. Surprising enough. Not much math to do here. 
No, I'm not real sure. I mean, the the biggest thing here to me, because you can't freeze, is just to ensure that Dustin gets a shot. If Brandon misses the 139, the easiest way to do that would just be to put in a hat trick. So. so Unlikely that that made a difference because Brandon's going to shoot this for the win. Well, now, because he missed that first dart, could go uh, 110 from here to freeze. A bull and a triple 20. Great shot from Brandon. A lucky miss on the first dart. And you see Dustin there with the realization in the background. So he is frozen. The 98 of Alex, more than the 14 and 82 combined. Dustin just looking defeated. But he does bring it down and leave eight. I think you got to play this. Hawk might not take this out, and then Alex gets a look at 98. But Hawk, now 78. He needs to shoot that bullseye, get that down as far as possible. I think his instinct there was to throw a 19 to leave 40. Hawk with a good catch on the last start to leave two. But Alex does get a look at the 98. Should be triple 20 to leave double 19. Looks like Alex just weighing his uh, his options here. Likes to go for the bull. Only gives himself one dart at the out. So double seven again for Brandon. And I think he hit the same hole. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've seen three legs finished on double seven now for Brandon in the last two matches. So pressure now again for Alex and Dustin after not losing a leg on their quest to the final or the king seat. They find themselves in a uh, elimination leg here. A poor open from Brandon means that Alex and Brand uh, Dustin, excuse me, are in a good position in this leg. Oh, and Alex again with a little bit of a slack turn, only finding one bullseye. <laughs> nice hat trick shot there from Brandon. They get to this third leg. Dustin needs to needs to speak up. I think. Oh, I'm gonna look to make sure that doesn't happen. Putting in a hat trick.
even Alex struggling, averaging almost 35 a turn, double in, but uh, definitely could be uh, could be sitting prettier if if Dustin uh, was in that one hole. Yeah, Dustin just playing a little bit better um, throughout the day. I think uh, I think it can work either way, but the odds lie more in their favor if uh, if Dustin's going first, given the way he's playing right now. But Hawk playing the best on the board currently, could leave himself an out. Will do now. Oh, he doesn't. Misses into the two. Uh -huh. 159, not a finish. The only number on the board he could have hit to not leave it out. Yeah, extremely unlucky there. Alex, again, firing in two bulls. <clears throat> So we may see a uh, uneventful leg. If Dustin steps up here and uh, takes out this 144. Trouble 18 for tops. Just low. I think we saw him just miss that out uh, earlier in the day as well. Hawk needs to put in a hat trick here and hope that Alex doesn't take out the 82. Not going to happen now. Looking very likely that Dustin and Alex will tie this up at one leg apiece. Even if Alex is unable to take this out here, unless he busts, Dustin would have a crack at it. And Alex going to think about it. Yeah. I, I, I'd push off. Bust opportunity. I the guy that's playing well. Yeah, bust opportunity on both sides of that double nine. I would push off in a heartbeat. Alex taking the shot. It's probably not going to mean anything. He does hit it. But I think the odds were, uh, were better to give Dustin three clear than you one dart. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I just, I don't know that there was an upshot because it wasn't like if, uh, if he missed that, they were, they were coming back for the match. Um, in fact, it, Yeah, I think mostly I just have faith in my partner, especially given that Dustin's playing so well. And the all-important start does fall with uh, with Dustin and Alex. So Brandon and Hawk going to need to come from the two-hole, and Brandon does not even get in. A huge shot to them straight away. Shout out to the uh, mayor of Clintonville, Ian Freese, joining us in the uh, in the chat. Alex only able to find one bull. So really a, uh, a let off there for Brandon. If he can come in strong. Yeah. 
Some frustration here from Dustin. Not able to find it in his first two darts. Yeah, took five darts at the bull for Dustin before he was able to hit one in this leg. Hawk really needing to capitalize. This is his first start as well. Alex, only two bulls. Needs to heart start hitting hat tricks here. Isn't going to work just matching at this point. I have a feeling Dustin's going to set this straight. Hat trick from Dustin. <laughs> Hawk really needing to to go out in six darts. And only gonna find a single bullseye, so. All signs looking at uh, a rematch in our finals. Not able to leave a finish. Looking up at that triple 20 with the last dart. Trying to make something happen. But only finds a single. So Alex now looking at 103. Oh, for double 18. Dustin points to the sky. But Alex lets him down. Yeah, Brandon, he knows that that shot probably irrelevant. So Dustin now looking at 76 for the match and to book their place into the finals. There it is. Dustin Holt coming through in leg number three. Your third place finishers, Brandon Brown and Daniel Hawk Hawksworth. Moving on to the final, Dustin Holt and Alex Reyes to take on Johnny Lackey and Dan Burke. Don't go anywhere. We will have that final coming up very soon.
Dan and Johnny have the king seat, so they will need to lose twice while playing two out of three. And the freeze rule, everyone's favorite, is in play. Yeah, Johnny and uh, Dan serving Dustin and Alex their only loss in the king seat match. They will look to repeat that outcome here. A very strong last leg um, played by uh, Johnny in that king seat match. But honestly, Dan was rock solid the entire time. We've seen a little bit of streakiness from uh, from Dustin and Alex in their last couple of matches. So I don't know. I, if, if Dan and Johnny keep up the form that they showed in that last one, I, I don't know that we'll see any other outcome than them being crown champions. But I would say on paper at the beginning of the day, you probably would have pegged Alex and Dustin as the uh, the top team in the room. So this should be a very interesting one. And they do have the darts here, which uh, Dan and Johnny overcame in the uh, in the king seat match in the very first leg. So that that for me is also uh, something. Um, they were kind of under the gun straight away in that uh in that king seat match and if they can if they can get this first leg um, kind of done and dusted without without any hoopla and freezes and stuff like that it may be telling for the uh for the rest of the match it's not good for us but as a player we often root for uninteresting darts We are wanting to get the game done with as little drama as possible. And I agree with you. I think both teams will be uh, will be looking for that here. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. It's good to win a close one. It's good to win on a big finish when you have to have it. But believe me, if you draw it up, <laughs> you want 32 the other guy on 180 or 171 or above and uh and uh three clear um is uh is really what uh what the objective is <laughs> another really good leg here from Johnny Gonna have an opportunity to do just uh, just as we were talking about. Yeah, big shot for Dan, and you gotta think that Johnny and Dan are the favorites in this leg. Oh, why did we a little bit of lag? What happened? Looks like we got the camera out of sync. Let's see if we can get that uh, reconnected. So from 2.33, Dustin and Alex going to do some quick dart math. I think they'll probably land on Dustin just trying to put in a 150. Ooh. 
we do apologize for the uh, for the lagging. But we are trying to get it squared away. But with that miss, Dan now has a decision. Could look to go for the triple or stay on the bull. Well, he went up at the triple 20 to try to guarantee not to freeze, but in turn made it a lot more likely that he will freeze if Alex doesn't take it out. So, yeah, now Alex leaving 16. Guarantees the freeze. And as you see, if Dan would have just put in a bull with that last start, that would have not been the case. Looks like we uh, we do have the camera situated now. We uh, appreciate your patience with that. 32 now for Dustin. Ooh, those high in the eight. Double 12. So there it is, leg number one. To Dustin and Alex. And straight into the next leg. Johnny firing in uh, perfect darts for his chosen double there. The Menser. So Dan and John are looking to win this here. They get their first look at a uh, deciding leg. Alex and Dustin, though, as we were talking uh, a few minutes ago, not going to want to uh, make this interesting at all. I want to get this first set done and dusted too straight and move on to a set where they can win. Dan gonna look to stay perfect after a 132 open. And he does. He follows with that hat trick. Dustin and Alex really going to need some help and then uh, to do something special here as we uh, kind of glide through the middle part of this second leg. Johnny going to leave the finish. Finds another hat trick in this leg. First telling sign there is Alex doesn't leave a finish. And leaving a hundred after nine. This leg looking to be like we're going to be all tied up at one leg apiece. Listen, not going to roll over, though. Listen to 150 to leave 119. 
No real pressure on Johnny here, but he won't want to mess around. At least bring it down, set up a, a nice clean double. Double 18 now. And there it is. We are all tied up at one leg apiece, and we're going to get another cork. I'm going to see these players uh, flex their cork muscle. That's, that's some pretty strong muscle right there from Dustin putting in a double bull. Looks to be a little open. Beatable dart. But tough one. So Dustin and Alex will have the start. And you said it earlier. The uh, the break of throws did come in the king seat match for for Dan and Johnny. So they know it's possible, especially now after only a forty or excuse me fifty seven start for Alex. Yeah, definitely not what we expected from uh, from Alex. Johnny with the. Happy fall out there from his uh, starting double of 14. We've seen, him come in on the, we've seen him come in on the 11 a couple of times. I wonder if he actually aims for the, uh, the wire that separates the two. Well, I know he's finished on that double 18 a couple of times. Though. True. Wonder if uh, he wouldn't be better served throwing up in that corner. Dan doing a good job to find the bull after uh, double 16 second dart. So all these players are away. And there's the hat trick from Alex. Even uh, being applauded by his uh, his opponent there. Just another slack turn for Johnny. Not the right time to have these misses in leg number three. And this deciding leg of the first set, they're gonna need need some help, I think. Kind of the status of the second leg for uh, for Alex and Dustin. They need a little help and uh, and do something big. Found his groove on that bullseye. Yeah, I was just going to say, he seems to find his rhythm. Back-to-back -back hat trick. and punching at the air with his left hand after that second dart. Not sure what that was. So Dan now in with a shout. If he can put in a high ton. Well, can't do it now. He should just look to bring it down. Shot for Alex. Starts with a bull. Triple 18 needed. Ooh, way high into the one. I know it's not a finish or a double, but. I think the right shot is just to hit the bullseye. I I completely agree. 
It's the easier target. Get the guaranteed 50 points. I know the 57 leaves 36, and that's much more optimal, but given the uh, the states of the scores, I'd be worried that I might not get a, a look. Yeah, again, we see in a, 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 what I'll say is uh, an aggressive shot from uh, from Alex. You see him back there talking about why he was uh, debating. But honestly, I, I mean, Johnny and Dan have to do their part. And yes. they still need a little help from Dustin for that to, uh, to even matter. So if Johnny puts in a 150 and Dustin follows with a 150, Dan can go 180 and freeze. It really doesn't even need 180. I think only a 170. But he's going to get some help from Dustin. Oh, and you see Alex throws, throw his hands up. Dustin does this a lot where he punts when he doesn't have to. And I think that's what Alex was just saying to him. You, you could have just stayed on the bullseye, man. Yeah, I mean, that extra 30 points might have made all of the difference here if Dan doesn't fill it up. Well, Dan really only needs two bulls and then anything, right? Now, yes. But I'm saying, had he had the other 30 points for the bull, whereas he threw it to 20, so, talking about Dustin, Dan would have had to hit the hat trick, which he does anyway. So Alex is frozen. He'll leave double two. And Johnny will walk up needing 75 with no real pressure here. Honestly, the only pressure he has is to make sure that he doesn't leave a high number and give Dustin the opportunity to freeze Dan. But he'll look to take it out. Should go at the uh, triple 17 to leave double 12. Perfect first start. Double six now. Don't bust. That's the key. That That's plenty good enough. Yeah, big fat six guarantees... Uh... His partner. And honestly, I I think Dan has been the uh, the foreign player in the two matches that these two teams have played. You gotta favor the fifty four going away. Should be a fat fourteen for double top or single eighteen for double. Tops coming in. Just missing high with the first one. Well, he doesn't manage to get it, but after the first 14, he knew that worst case scenario, he had the uh, the four of Alex Frozen and his partner would be back for this double three. But Johnny now has to take out double three. Oh, he's making it interesting. Single one for double. He's not going to do it. So Dustin, with the opportunity to save the day, keep his team in this match. He's been hitting it all day to start. And there it is. The winner of the first set, Alex Reyes and Dustin Holt. This is the king seat match, and Johnny and Dan were the winners. So it's they hard. needed to be double dipped. It's hard not to feel like um, Dustin and Alex have all the men momentum now. After that many blown shots from Dan and Johnny. Yeah, at soft tip doubles. I don't know if we've got a uh, restroom break. Well, what's coming up here? It looks like Dan may have ran out.
Dan back now from the potty break. Donnie Ram stopping by for a chat during the final. Players should be about ready for uh, for the second set here. <laughs> Should be getting the impending cork. Even at the beginning of the match here, important darts could determine who uh, who has the pressure of staying in this event after the first leg and looks like it's going to be Dustin and Alex getting us started again. Opening here, early doors. Big shot there from Dustin, coming in with a 132. Dan jumping the gun just a little bit. See if that is affects him on the restart. Doesn't appear to be. He fires in a 1-3-2 behind. Johnny really needing hat tricks back behind. The best miss. Still only a little ton there for Johnny. Can Dan Burke stay up with Dustin? Dart for dart. It's not going to. Alex 
Alex unable to leave a finish. So if Johnny can put it in a 150 here, he'll get first look at the out. Oh, and he too, not able to do it. See a little fist pump there from from Dustin. Dan needed the hat trick just to just to equal the out of Dustin. Now he needs a bull just to leave it out. And he's not gonna do it. So all signs pointing to this first leg going with throw. And for the first time in this event. Johnny going to be the ones on the chopping block. That's it now. Step to the board. Need 111. He'll set up double 13. Oh, doesn't register. The good news is they've got him frozen right now as long as he doesn't buzz. So no worries. Still go at it. Johnny unable to take out 104. 68 is more than 36 and 26 combined. So Johnny should look to bring this down. To give well, he does find a triple his last start, but had he not, it would have been uh, worrisome for, for Dan if he does get a shot. At 104, you just shoot the bulls out, right? Yes. Yeah, two bulls leave four. Be dumb with it when you're froze like that. But Dustin not giving Dan the opportunity, so Dustin and Alex are up one leg to none here in our second set of the finals. 36th annual Texas Regional. This is the pro doubles event. I was going to step back and regroup. Yeah, very consistent starts for these guys. Finally getting in there, keeping that uh, consistent starting I mentioned alive. Good open there from Dustin. Not wanting to make it to a decider, rather wanting to clean this one up 2-0. Looking pretty likely from here. Nice hat trick there from Alex. Gotta think Johnny and 
Dan really need to turn it on here. This match after, uh, what, nine match darts in the first set. Getting away from them quickly. You see the big reaction from Dustin after just the first dart. I think he was mad that he blocked himself. But honestly, had the um, the cushion in this leg to to switch to the twenty, but elected to stay there, only able to find one bull. Alex is going to be first in and out. Can Dan find a hat trick or even something bigger? Can. If uh, Johnny and Dan are to win this leg, it's going to be on Johnny to finish 265 and 6. That's the only way I see this happening. Don't feel like uh, Dan's going to get a second opportunity. But this 156 might go away right here. Alex. Good cleanup after missing the first start to leave 36. Dan now. His work cut out for him just to try to give Johnny an attempt at the 115. Dustin will need one eleven or more to ensure a freeze. That's a good miss. Another bull needed. Oh, and he doesn't do it. You see the energy there from Johnny in the background. He knows exactly what this means. 115 has to go away. There's actually potential to freeze here. Yep. So now that he missed the triple 15, 48 to leave two will freeze. Oh, and he just misses it. Double 18 for the title. And there it is. Takes three to get her done. But job did. Your winners here in Texas. Alex Reyes and Dustin Holt takes the pro doubles title. Your runners up getting double dipped in the final. Condolences go to Dan Burke and Johnny Lackey. So an up and down display of, of darts in general, but certainly uh, some highs as we saw some amazing darts today from, from really all four of these players, but a lot of players along the way. Yeah, I think we saw the, uh, the, the freeze rule come into play. Um, we saw some of the players uh, and teams use the freeze rule um, where uh, an out was an option. Um, we saw some aggressive darts where uh, where they could have. Uh, it really, it really, really had it all, including a, a double dip in the final. So, um, greatly appreciate everybody uh, sticking around with us, and we have even more. Um, we've got some more dart action coming to you uh, um, following this. Um, 
We're going to take a short break and uh, take a look at the bracket and uh, bring you back some more live darts here as soon as we can from Texas, the uh, Bullshooter Regional. More to come. Stick around. <laughs> 